three in the grade three Sycamore. Let's start with a uh, bigger picture, close, uh, tough beat, close finish down at Kentucky Downs. Tell me about the last race. Uh, it's probably a little shorter than he wants to go, but uh, he ran his usual good race. How's he coming up to this one? He's doing super. Uh, you've got uh, Jose Ortiz on him. He won on him up at Saratoga. Tell me about that race. Uh, I thought it was a nice race. Uh, First real time, he got a chance to go mile three eighths and uh, set right off the, sp the speed and uh, really finished strong. A uh, generous kitten coming off a second up at Laurel. Uh, what'd you like about that effort? That was good. Another kitten show. You get uh, stakes placed, uh, you know, a mile and a half, no issue with them, and uh, it's one of the race excellent shape. The um, combination with Julian in the saddle, like they've won three times, anything particular about Yeah, they, they just get along great together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, green grass of uh, Wyoming. Uh, tell me about the, the prep for this and uh, what you liked about that, that that race. He didn't really care for the going to Kentucky Downs, but still ran a decent race, but I don't think uh, it's the best race, so uh, a little concerned with the weather forecast tomorrow. Seems like he's uh, really moved forward since coming into your barn. Anything that you did differently with him? We just stretched him out and uh, we got lucky and won the Stars and Stripes. Uh, fabulous looking horse and uh, loves his job. Uh, you talked about the possibility of rain. Any of your three horses that move up or down if we get softer conditions? Well, like I said, Kentucky Downs is a different type of course, but a little bit concerned with the uh, green grass well. Great. And all of them perfectly comfortable at the distance? Yes. Good, Good luck. Thank you.